All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And uh, one time for each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live. Woo! No New Year's resolution for me, baby. I'm already ripped to stress. Coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, check it out. Woo! My New Year's resolution... I gotta do something with this hair, man. I'm supposed to be getting it locked tomorrow or go see the loctician tomorrow to see what's going on. And you ain't supposed to do a whole lot with it before you go see them and stuff, man. So I'm out here, bro. If you got locks, let me know how bad you was looking before you got it locked, man. Before you, you know what I'm saying? Before you got something done to it. Cause this right here, I don't like it, man. I'm probably gonna watch it one more time or something, man. But I ain't supposed to do nothing to it before I'm going go down there. They wanna see it raw and uncut. It is what it is, man. I did have to shake the face up though. Ooh, I shaped it up by. But hey, y'all let me know down in the comments, man. If you got locks, um, what you had to do, you know, before, before, you know, the days before you 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 did what you did. Anyway, man, we got news. Um, I got a lot of news, man. A lot of news with a heavy heart today, man. But first thing I need to know, we got two sensations in the league, man, right now, and everybody's comparing them. My boy says apples to oranges, oranges to apples, but you know it is what it is. We got to do it, man. So who you rocking with today? You rocking with Trey Young or Luka Doncic? Damn it, I say Trey Young or Luka Doncic. I don't know, man. Like I said, right now, they're both, they're both awesome players. They're both sensational players. A lot of people probably going to go with Luka because Luka is the sexy pick right now. Luka is that guy that, um, you know, he's, he's the guy that, um, he's the guy that, that, that fills up the stat sheet. He's getting triple doubles and his team is winning. If Trey Young's team was winning, if we if the Hawks were winning, I think Trey Young and the Luka Doncic, it'll, it'll be really close. But right now, it, 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 a lot of people are just gonna say it's not even close. It's, it's the Luka. I mean, I heard some people say some absurd things like Luka top five right now. Like, bro, we still got LeBron, Kevin Durant, uh, James Harden, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, you you can say Kyrie, Kawhi, George, uh, Paul George. Like all these guys. A lot of people like. So he's not top five yet. He'll be top five in the future when all, when a lot of these guys retire and stuff like that. But, I, I mean, even AD. Like, you could do a, several top fives, and he wouldn't be in my top five right now. Now, if you're just talking about how they playing right now today, like last night or something, I mean, he's still not going to be in my top five. Uh, if you want to kick out Kevin Durant and say, well, he's not playing, then I still I throw Giannis in. So, to me, he's not in my top five right now. But there are so many top fives you can put together. Top ten, we can talk about that. We can discuss that. That's debatable. He might squeeze in there at like number 10 or something like that. But you know it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is Luka top five, number one, and who you going with him or Trey Young? Keeping it NBA though, we're going, a lot of this stuff I'm, I'm reporting today with a heavy heart, man. So y'all just got to rock with me, man. Check it out. The NBA's longest tenured commissioner and sports longest tenured commissioner, David Stern, died last night. Um, he had a brain hemorrhage a couple of weeks ago. We talked about the story. David Stern is one of the people. If it weren't for David Stern, there probably wouldn't even be no NBA 2K, man. He is the one that brought the NBA to the forefront, made it a global brand, made it the cash cow that it is, made it so that players, when I was in, when I was young, in 1984, players, the average salary in the NBA was $250,000. Think about that. Even with inflation, that would still be like $2 million today. $250,000 in the 80s would be like $2 million a day, something like that, right? Um, the average salary in the NBA right now is $9 million. Bums on the bench, bummy, bummy McScrub Nugget is making $9 million right now. You'd be hard-pressed to find somebody. So even adjusted for inflation, he has quadrupled the average, almost quadrupled the average salary in the league. You understand how big that is? Even adjusted for inflation, they still are making quadruple what they would have been making. They'd have been making about, it'd have been about two million a year. Now the average player is making about nine million a year. That's insane. So so just, just think about that, man. He did that. He got the deals with ESPN. He got the deals, uh, you know, you know, make pushing it to pushing it to different countries. He pushed Mike 
to, to different heights. When the game started, when he became commissioner, the NBA Finals was on tape delay. Do you understand that the Celtics versus the Lakers was on tape delay? Which means it wasn't on TV. It was just like when you go on Fox Sports South or whatever, and you find and you and you watch a game that's already been on, and we don't even watch those games. The only way to watch NBA Finals was on tape delay. So that only only that you can only imagine what the regular season games would have been like. You're not going to even see them. Now, almost every game, he did the deals with TNT. He did the deals with the Fox Sports Play people. He made it so that the games are seen by more people. He did the deals with Coke, with Gatorade, all that stuff like that. So now you got an infusion of cash. Now the salary caps go up. Now the players make more money. They did the deals where, you know, did the deal with the player union where 80% 80% of the money, like people used to be like, why these players make so much money? This is why, because of this man right here. Players used to make peanuts. They used to pay them garbage, dog poo, right? And then they came up with something with the collective bargaining agreement and he signed off on it and everybody did it. Obviously it's the players union was, was the biggest part of it, but he also helped them push for it and was like, nah, you keep, the owners can't sit here and just keep all the money. You got to pay out 80%. I think it's 80% now. 80% got to be paid toward the players, toward salaries. So no matter, so now, and it kind of screwed up, screwed it up some because now you got Scrubby McNugget Bucket making $30 million a year, but you ain't got to sign him for the Supermax or whatever. He can, all the Supermax, all that stuff came under his tenure. I'm just saying all this, I'm not saying that he did it personally. I'm just saying all this stuff happened under his tenure. 80% got to be paid toward the players. So owners can't do what they used to do. Just get a team of the trashest players that they had. Uh, that they could find and then not pay them and then they're keeping all the money no you're not doing that no more this is what you're gonna do you're gonna pay 80 percent toward the salary you can keep the other 20 percent but when but you're talking about billionaires to millionaires like i said man this guy right here it all happened on his watch man i can't do nothing but salute david stern man he was an attorney first a court a corporate lawyer came in became the commissioner took the nba to a new heights did all the marketing stuff everything nba is a global brand if it's not for him man it might have happened eventually but yeah i don't lost myself man if it wasn't for him it probably would have never happened man it probably would have never happened owners will still be penny pinching and you'll have all the stuff that you got anyway anyway man salute to david stern man rest in peace to him man hey gone but not forgotten anyway up next man this is something else that, that i got I, I talk about with a heavy heart man there are rumors that the pretty boy fredo Pretty Boy Fredo did a um he did a a giveaway. Cash App giveaway, $15,000. This is a, this is hilarious right here though cuz all of this is doctored. Like I mean, y'all might not y'all might not know how to uh look at something, but I can look at a graphic because I do like design and you can see all this this is all doctored. But that ain't got nothing to do with it being fake, man. It might not be fake. But this is what he's saying. He said, go like the new video. He's dropping in 30 minutes. And then, so what you had to do, you had to retweet the, uh, you had to retweet the uh, joint. You had to follow him on Instagram, follow him on Twitter. Boom, easy enough, that's done. This fella right here's named Loney, man. All right, so this is who won right here. You know, hold on, hold on one second. Let me let me, let me let y'all hear, hear what's going on and all of that good stuff, man. Hold on one second. Let's turn this up and uh, let's get right into it, so. This is what he said. Yo, shout out to Fredo. Just won the $15,000 cash out giveaway. I fuck with you, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. This shit gonna really help me out a lot, bro. Appreciate you, man, for real. Now, he did that. And, and so, like, to me, somebody told me it was fake. I was like, well, I mean, he probably would be. If I just won, if I was a random person off the street that just won $15,000, I would probably be like, yo, you know, I'd be crunked in a bitch. Cause I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what I would what I use it for. And then Loney come through and says, hey, no hating or saying it's fake. But $15,000 giveaway seem fake to me. It's kind of funny. The guy that won is a rapper from Orlando. Same as Pretty Boy Fredo and his friends with Swag Hollywood. We know, we know, we know Fredo and Swag Hollywood roll tough, man. I ain't I, I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. But uh, but you know, he says, but and and he won. Now I would say it don't matter if they friends or not because you can be, you can be a, you know, I could be friends with you and you can still win the giveaway. But then he also said, like in his video, he actually did a video. Go watch Loney's video on it, man. It's a real quick video. He said that, uh, 
The only thing that kind of messed me up. What he does. I used to be a big fan of him. But was this yeah, part? All three of them are friends, and they all know each other, or whatever. I don't care about I feel that. Like it needs to be addressed a little bit. Um, it is kind of wrong what he's doing, making people waste their time, getting their hopes up. Um, in that uh post that I made on Twitter of him playing 2K with Swag Hollywood, he actually deleted that off of took, his Instagram took, account. Took, took the joint now. Camera. I'm pretty sure he is. Uh, I just exposed him actually. You know, yeah. Everything adds up. It's a fake anyway, man, we don't care about all that. The only thing the dude said that really, that really kind of, that really kind of hurt my feelings a little bit was when he said, because I mean, your friend can win a giveaway. If I do a giveaway and Binary win, Binary probably going to be like, yo, I'm, I don't want it. Or Ramp the one before he like, no, I don't want to give it to somebody else. But it's $15,000. I don't think they're going to do that. But the other part of it is this. When um the dude said, Loney said that you had to follow Fredo, retweet the joint. You had to follow him, retweet, and you had to, um, and you had to, uh, hold on, let me get this music back popping. You had to follow him, retweet, and not only that, but you also had to, um, follow, retweet, and, um, and, uh, follow him on Instagram, follow him on Twitter. And the dude said he don't, the, that, 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 that cat that won don't follow him on Instagram or on Twitter, and he didn't retweet. So, like, that right there, that, that really, that raised a red flag, man, but, that don't mean he. That don't mean that that it's 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 a fake giveaway. Maybe he just won and all that, man. And, and it's crazy because Fredo don't gotta do nothing like that, man. And it, and it's like it's just hard for me to believe. Like I, I just put up this video the other week. Like why would you do that when he just put up a video of him cutting his hair? This little girl right here, she was injured. In, I don't know if she was injured in a car accident or whatever. She almost lost her life, and. As a result of her almost losing her life, you see she had to shave her head or what have you. So because to show support for that, he cut his hair right in front of her. Now she was like, hey, you know, this is the picture before, hey, this is the picture afterward. Like he he shaved his head, you know, for the little girl or what have you, to show that, you know, to show that he cares, show the support, all this stuff. This little girl was in a coma for a couple of days, all that. And you know, she's a big Fredo fan. And boom, he did that for her. So like, I don't like, it's just hard for me to believe that like like why would you do something like that you don't got to do that you got the money I, I don't know about the financial situation but we know he don't have to do nothing like that but if he did it I, I that that hurts me deeply because it's like the same person that would cut his hair to make a fan feel good with fake a giveaway i know a lot of people do it man but like i said we ain't got no real definitive proof but that's what they saying like that that's what's happening out there in the streets i hope it's not true because i don't want nobody i mean you know what i'm talking about like everybody anybody need that money man it's like shoot if i want that money y'all already know what time it is because y'all know what i do in my spare time i do these doggone i do these doggone t-shirts and stuff like that in my spare time man i say i do these t-shirts and stuff like that in my spare time man look at man Speaking of which, if you wanted to, uh, if you want one of these, man, check it out, man. We got these Yoda hoodies, man. Baby Yoda, your football team, all this stuff. We gonna hook y'all up, man. But look, though, hey, Fredo, if you get away money, man, look here. Yeah, I need this Versa Studio rolling BN20, man. All right? So if you if you want to help your boy get this, look, it's normally 8500 Right now, 4900 Playboy. Hey, help your boy out, man, so I can get the, I can start my own clothing line and help all these other people with their merch and stuff like that, man. Also, while you're doing that, Fredo, slide on over to Breeze Tees, man. We got plenty. I say plenty. Link down in the description, man. 10% off. We got plenty of workout gear, man. Like, I'm trying to get my stuff off the ground, shout So, so you know what I'm talking about? If, if, if it ain't fake, or, or whatever, you know, holla at your boy, man. Anyway, up next, man, Hank the Tank leaving YouTube, man. And he said, quitting YouTube forever, please read. Hey, I ain't got time to read all this, man. So y'all go out there and y'all read that joint, man, because uh, go over to Hank, read it, find out why he's quitting YouTube. It's a good read and all that. I'm just not about to read it all on stream. Up next, uh, we got a fella off of off of, um, off of Reddit asking a question, man. He's saying, well, we have 14 minutes. He said, can shooting badges make up for low shooting rating? All right. He says, I want to make a, a small forward pure slasher that can shoot. I mean, that can uh, that gets 10 badges uh, for shooting. But it's three-point shot is a 51. Make me, I mean, uh, can the badges make me make a three-point every now and then? I was, I was, I mean, let me see. I was thinking gold, quick draw, gold corner specialist, catch and shoot, and bronze. Listen here, man. First of all, if you want to try to make some shots, you need Hall of Fame range extender number two. 
Ain't nothing gonna make up for no 51 uh, rating. You might have a, a there might be a glitch base or something out there that can make up for it or something like that every now and then, but bro, you're not making that. So you need to make something else. You need to make like if you if you want a, a slash, you probably want a two way a two way um two way three and D or something like that, a facilitator, a sharp. I mean, a sharp facilitator, something like that. Two way sharp facilitator or the rebound and wing. You can dunk on people and you can uh, do everything and you can shoot and you can play defense and slashing to help you play. Anyway, man, but you know, like I said, um, oh, oh, on to the next thing, man. Hey, look here, man. Let me show y'all this right here. So, so. Uh, we got this dunk right here. Kelly Oubre going to the rim. They say Kelly Oubre getting one of these every game to the right. On, on Pam's boy. Come here, Pam boy. Woo, right. They say he getting in one of them every game, man. Y'all let me know if that's true. But boy, shake down. Put this video up, man. He said, hey, Robin Lopez ain't the one. Look at that. Right. Look at Jared Carver go straight to the rim. He say, come here, Robin. Right. Robin Lopez takes exception and takes him down the court, man. He say, what's happening? He say, I ain't even trying to flex on you, playboy. Robin Lopez, now that right there, that part right there, Robin, you don't put your hands on another man right there, man. Let me tell you, that could, that could start something like that. Why you mad? If you can jump higher, Robin, you wouldn't have got your ass dunked on. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of this bike in the day where, where Shaq and Chris Dudley was down. Now look at this. You can't even see. This is what we was watching back in the day. Right? Get your ass up. Chris Dudley, and Chris Dudley threw the ball at him like it. All right, else. And Nick Cow, we're going to watch this dunk one more time, man. Bro, what was we watching back in the day? I can't even see what's happening. Ah, and we was watching this religiously? Hey, it is what it is, man. But Shaq Dunk, that remind me of that when Shaq Dunk on Chris Dudley. Chris Dudley took exception, and uh, he threw the ball at Shaq and all that. If you remember that, y'all let me know when it happened. If y'all remember that and saw it when it happened, man, and all that good stuff. Anyway. We up, that's all we got for y'all today, man. Shout out to David Stern, man, and his family. Thoughts, energy, vibes, and all that good stuff is with y'all, man. Um, you know, y'all check out my site, man, Breeze Tees. If you and you know, we got a lot of stuff. We're gonna put the custom t-shirt maker on there tomorrow. Hey, Fredo! How did your boy, man? $49.99. You can be my business partner, baby. We can do all of this, but y'all let me know. Um, and if you want one of these, I can do any team, man. Just let me know which team you want or whatever like that. And um, do y'all think that the giveaway was fake, man? Like, I mean, the evidence is compelling, but I hope it wasn't fake, man, because it, it ain't no need, need, need to do that. He don't need to do it. And, uh, you know, like I said, the same person that would do something like that for that little girl would fake a giveaway. I mean, it is what it is. I hope it's not, but, but the evidence is compelling, allegedly compelling. But, hey, your homeboy can win. A giveaway. It ain't no rules against it, man. So, hey, maybe that's what it is. And uh, last but not least, man, who y'all going with today? Trey Young or Luka Doncic? Trey Long, Trey, Trey Young or Luka Doncic? Let me know down in the comments, man. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh, peace!